Hello and welcome to this particular session. Here we are going to talk about level of details. As we know, level of details is like a very tough concept. And if you want to know, you have to do a lot of practice. So here we are coming up with a beautiful series on level of details. We are taking these examples from Tableau website. The first example which we have is level of details on customer order frequency before we proceed if you want more tips and tricks you can very well subscribe this channel and for more details keep updated also press the bell icon for regular updates so here is the business scenario the scenario says that we have to find a number of customers who are purchasing one n order if I talk about in a simple language, let's say I'm going to a retail store. Now I went to the retail store, I purchased one order today. Tomorrow also I purchased one order and day after tomorrow also I purchased one order. Total orders I purchased are three. Similarly, there are some other customers as well. They are purchasing the orders. Now the requirement here is that we want to know how many customers are purchasing three orders how many customers are purchasing five orders and so on so i purchased three orders so th there is a customer count that is one that is my count because i purchased three orders there will be another customer as well who are already purchased three orders so he and myself will be in the count so total number of customers who purchased three orders are two and so on so basically i want to create a distribution which helps me understand that how many customer are purchasing n number of orders for example if you see in this chart you see one order two order three order and so on here i can see that customer with seven orders we have more number of frequency that means majority of my customers are purchasing seven orders and this is what we want to create in tableau so we will use sample superstore data and we'll try to understand how we can achieve that so let's get straight into it so here is the data which we have from Tableau Sample Superstore. And what I want is I want to find the count of customers in particular order numbers. So obviously I want to find, first of all, which customer purchased how much orders. I have this customer name field. I'll create a calculated on top of this. Now what I'm looking for, I want to find the number of orders by customer let's say i am one of the customers how many orders i purchased how many distinct order i purchased so we will apply an lod expression and that is nothing but fixed i want to fix customer i want to fix myself and then i want to find count distinct of order id so same i will do here number of orders by customers and here I will do fixed customer name colon. This is the syntax fixed, which is the LOD command. Then customer name, a dimension which I want to fix. Based on that, I want to fi find count distinct of order ID and curly braces closed. So here we are fixing customer name, and by fixing customer name, we are finding count distinct of order ID. I click OK. This field is created. Now I would think logically this will give me what? This will give me by customer. If you see here, I have customer name. And if I put it here, it will actually give me the orders. If I sort, you can see that I have 17 order, 13 order, 12 order, and so on. So from here, I can very well see that, OK, this, this particular guy purchased 17 order, which is the highest. And I have only one entry of it. For 13, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Around 7 customers I have for 13 orders as well. And so on. But I'm not interested in this. I'm interested in this as a discrete value. Basically, 17 is going to be an x-axis. And based on that, I want to know how many customers are there. 
So for that, what I have to do is I'll clean this sheet and I will convert this order of customers to a dimension because I want this as an X axis with the unique values. I'm not looking for any sum and count and all those things. So I'm converting it to a dimension. And now if I put it here, you will see that you are getting all the unique numbers which was there in the data previously the sheet which we have created. You can see that we have 17, 13, 12 and so on. And now I am interested in how many customers I have. Maybe I can go and create customer name, maybe count distinct of customer name and so on. Or I can very well go with number of records as well. I drag this number of records out here and you can see that a beautiful chart getting created. I'll make it as an entire view and you can see that a chart is created which actually showing us these are the order number or I can say number of orders and these are the total counts of customers in that particular order. For example, seven orders, I have 1580 customers. So there are 1580 customers who purchased seven orders. And that is how you can apply a fixed function and try to solve this beautiful business problem. We'll try to make it a bit beautiful here. Click here. Maybe we can give some boundaries, darker the boundaries. Then when I hover, I want to show something like 1580 customers purchased seven orders. Something like that I want to write. So I'll click on the tooltip. And I'll just copy this and paste it here. Customers purchased these many orders or I would say in a bracket and now when I click okay I can see that one three 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 customers purchased five orders one five eight zero customers purchased seven orders also if you want we can remove this part I'm not interested in hide the column I can very well rename this this is not number of records this is you can say number of customers right so we can very well edit this as well so number of customers and i can rename the sheet as well number of or i can say customer order frequency Done. Let me double click, make it bold, center aligned, click OK, and this chart is created. I don't want this grid lines, so I can very well right click, format, and remove these lines which we are not interested in. And that is how you can able to create this beautiful chart, helping us understand how many customers purchased how many orders. Hope this makes sense. We'll see you again in the next module. We'll talk about some more LOD examples. Till then, do practice and happy analyzing.